Oh, there he is. Kenny. Oh, my God, you look so much better. Yeah. Doesn't he look better? Yeah, it looks like a thousand bucks. Let's go. Come on. Hey, come on, guys. Oh, oh, come on. Easy. Easy. Oh, go. Can you get oh, one last? Oh, 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 great. Kenny. That's my elbow. Oh. Are you okay? I think so. David, look what happens to you when you start running around like a crazy person. What are you talking about? He's fine. Come on. Come on, Kendall. Hop up, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. What the hell's oh, wrong with you? What's wrong with me? David! Look. This job has a deadline, and it's in four fucking hours, all right? And if you think I'm going to lose a half a million dollar payday because of one of Kenny's boo-boos, then you're out of your goddamn mind. Whoa, wait a second. You're making half a million dollars on this deal? I... Uh, roughly. I cannot believe you. Rose, listen to me. I can explain. You are making $500,000, and you were only going to pay me thirty. dollars you're getting 30 grand? I'm getting a thousand! But you guys are getting paid? You're a liar. No, 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 no. We want to renegotiate. No, no way. What? No, David. no way. No, no, no. You, no, you made your deal with me, I made my deal with Brad, all right? We're getting out of here. Recently, the Connecticut legislature passed a law requiring organizations with more than 50 employees to provide an hour of paid sick leave for every 40 hours they work. For up to 5 days of a year, employees, unless they are temporary workers or employed by a manufacturer, can call in sick and be paid for the time off. To know how employees be paid when they off, we should discuss employee benefits. Back with us again. I'm Yenia Gustiana, I'm my partner in Rawijaya. And our lovely lecturer, Dr. Nova Merdiana SAMM. After watching and discussing this chapter, you need to know first the importance of benefit as a part of employee composition, and second, summarize the types of employee benefits required by law. The third is describe the most common forms of paid leave. And after that, identify the kinds of insurance benefit offered by employers. Define the types of retirement plans offered by employers. Describe how organizations use other benefit to match employee wants and needs. Explain how to choose the contents of an employee benefit package. And after that, summarize the regulation affecting how employers design and administer benefit program. And the last is discuss the importance of effectively communicating the nature and the value of benefit to employees. Before we discuss the role of employee benefits, we have to know what the employee benefit is. Employee benefit is compensation in forms other than cash. Examples of benefits include employer paid health insurance, retirement saving plans, and paid vacation among a wide range of possibilities. The role of employee benefit As a part of total compensation paid to employees, benefits serve functions similar to pay. Benefits contribute to attracting, retaining, and motivating employees. The variety of possible benefits also help employers tailor their compensation to the kinds of employees they need. Different employees look for different types of benefits. Employers need to examine their benefit package regular, regularly to see whether they meet the needs of today. The law also regulates benefit. The following are benefit required by law. First is social security. It is the federal and state governments require various forms of social insurance to protect workers from the financial hardship of being out of work. Social Security, the federal out of age, survivors, disability, and health insurance program, which combines old age insurance, survivors insurance, disability insurance, hospital insurance, and supplementary medical insurance for the elderly. Then, unemployment insurance. It is a federally mandated 
program to minimize the hardships of unemployment through payments to unemployed workers, helping in finding new jobs and incentives to stabilize employment. And then, workers' compensation. It's that program that provides benefits to workers who suffer work-related injuries or illnesses or to their so- survivors. And then, unpaid family and medical leave. FMLA of 93 requires organization with more or more employees within a 75 mile radius to provide as much as 12 weeks of unpaid leave after childbirth or adoption to care for a seriously ill child, spouse or parent for an employee's own serious illness or to take care or urgent needs that arise when a spouse, child or parent in the National Guard or Reserve is called to active duty. And then, healthcare benefits. It is healthcare reform law passed in 2010 that includes incentives and penalties for employee providing health insurance as a benefit. Optional benefit programs. Other types of benefits are optional. This includes various kinds of insurance, retirement plans, and paid leave. Paid leave is organization often provide for paid leave for jury duty, funerals of mem- family members, and military duty. Some organization provide for other paid leave, such as time off to fort or to donate blood. And second is group insurance. When employees receive our insurance as a benefit rather than the higher pay so they can buy their own insurance, employees can get more for their money. Because of this, most employees value group insurance. Retirement plans. There are two types of retirement plans. First is contributory plans. As retirement plan funded by contribution from the employers and the employee. And second is non-contributory plan. Retirement plan funded entirely by contribution from the employer. Family friendly benefits. As employers have recognized the significance of employees need to manage conflicts between their work and family roles. Many have had family-friendly benefits to their employee benefits. These benefits include family leave policies and child care. The following types of benefits are typical. First one is family leave. Family or parental leave grants employee time off to care for children and other dependents. Second, child care. Child care benefits may take several forms requiring different levels of organization involvement. The lowest level of involvement is for the organization to supply and help employees collect information about the cost and quality of available child care. Then, college saving. As workers, children grow up, they need save for maternity leave and child care to college situation. And then, elder care. As the population of nation elderly grows, so do the demands on adult children to care for elderly parents, aunts, and uncles. Other benefits to encourage learning and attract the kinds of employees who wish to develop their knowledge and skill. Many organizations offer tuition reimbursement programs. A typical program covers situation and related expense for courses that are relevant to the employee's current job or future career at the organization. Selecting Employee Benefit Although the government requires certain benefits, employers have wide latitude in creating the total benefit package they offer employees. Decision about which benefit to include should take into account the organization goals, its budget, and the expectation of the organization current employees and those it wish to recruit in the future. The organization objective. Among companies that do set goals, common objective include controlling the 
cost of health care benefit and retaining employees employees expectation and values employee expect to receive benefits that are legally required and widely available and they value benefits they are likely to use organization can address difference in employees needs and empower their employees by offering flexible benefit plans these plans are often called coverage style plans a benefit plans that offer employees a set of alternative from which they can choose the types and amounts of benefits they want benefit cost employers also need to consider benefits cost one place to start is with general information about the average cost of various benefit types employers can use data about cost to help them select the kinds of benefits to offer legal requirements for employee benefits this requirement adds to the cost of compensating employees organization looking for ways to control staffing costs may look for ways to structure the workforce as to minimize the expense of benefits tax treatment of benefits the ERS provides more favorable tax treatment of benefits classified as qualified plans anti-discrimination law a number of laws are intended to provide equal employment opportunity without regard to race sex age disability and several other protected categories accounting requirements company financial statement must meet the many requirements of the financial accounting standard board or we call it FASB the accounting requirements are intended to ensure that financial statements are true picture of company financial status and the outsider including potential lenders and investor can understand and compare financial statement communicating benefit to employees organization must communicate benefit information to employees so they will appreciate the value of their benefit this is essential so that benefits can achieve their objective of attracting, motivating, and retaining employees. Employers have many options for communicating information about benefits to increase the likelihood that employees will re receive and understand the message. Employees can combine several media such as brochure, question and answer meetings, internet internet page memos and email from this chapter that we have discussed we can make a conclusion employee benefits are one tool to make your team feel valued appreciated and loyal in the modern workplace compensation is very important as it aims to improving job satisfaction and also the staff morale in safe tips tend to raise the self-esteem of the workers at the same time time makes the workers be proud of the organization they are working for provision of incentive day in day out helps to attract more qualified personnel to the company which will in turn raise the company competitiveness in the market benefits that are often directed to the workers is also important when it comes to forgetting more staff moral compensation incentives benefit and safety health concern are very important in any modern workplace and all the managers across the globe need to consider this attending to the employees in the appropriate right manner will help to attract more qualified staff to the organization and also help to retain the existing staff all together okay that's all from us thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye